Welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode here on FC24. We're very close to the end of season... S Ooh, seven? Season seven. Season seven! We've been going this My Player Career Mode for actually forever. I'm so glad that you guys are loving it so much so that you keep coming back day in, day out. I appreciate it very much indeed. We have two Champions League ties for you today. Both Champions League quarterfinal legs against Bayer Leverkusen, followed by... or separated by, should I say more accurately, Liverpool in the Premier League. Our Premier League ambitions have died, effectively. We are nowhere near the title, and uh, Tottenham have completely spursed it. We are seventh now with seven games to go in the Premier League and 11 points off the top of the table. It's not happening. Top four could well happen, although that still is a little bit of a ways away. But if we could beat Liverpool today, then we get a hell of a lot closer. So our best bet for Champions League football next year is actually to win the Champions League this year. And I would love to win the FA Cup as well with the semi-final against Sheffield United as the first game of the next episode. But right now we're concentrating on European action and European action alone. Because we don't really care about the Premier League at the moment because it's not happening. So Leverkusen first, Liverpool, then Leverkusen again. All the L's today in terms of opposition, but hopefully not in terms of scoreline. We're saying thank you as ever to you guys in the comment section for your continued support of the content. Saying thank you to Christoph today. We're saying thank you to Super Pure Dragon today. We're also saying thank you to Strat Carter today as well. Thank you very much for all of your continued support in the comment section. I'm going to hopefully earn that support now by going and getting ourselves through to the semi-finals of this competition to go with the semi-final of the FA Cup that we'll play tomorrow. Champions! Bum, 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 bum. Copyright strike me. Two goal involvements and then avoid a loss is the aim. We're at home in the first leg, so you'd certainly like to go for broke and try and get a strong first leg victory if we can. But I've just noticed they've got Hoyland and Gavi in their starting lineup, which doesn't bode too well for them being that good, does it? Or that weak. Mamadis Vili and goal at 86. Kim Min Jae, Ronald Araujo and Mohamed Simakan. Oh my God, Bayer Leverkusen are insane. And then an 88, Jeremy Frimpong, Gavi, Rodri at 90, Grimaldo, Duarte Marrera, an 89, Rasmus Hoyland and a 96, Daniel Vylan. That's a disgustingly good team. I love to play for them. Week in, week out in the Bundesliga. Jesus Christ, what an 11. They've also got Cole on the bench as well. 92 rated Colin Murray. And Alex O'Sullivan too. Jesus! What an 11. All right, I came into this expecting us to do well. Now, after actually seeing their team, I think we might go out. Oh, that's heavy touch by Gavi. Big back heel from me to Amaricho. Missing Emil Smith-Rowe for this first leg. Fatigue is a real issue for this squad right now as well, with lots of games coming thick and fast, and us not really having the quality in depth to be able to rotate too much here at Tottenham. The 11 is good. The squad isn't really in the same or of the same level, and obviously the centre mids aren't at the same level at all anyway. We don't have any class centre mids outside of Jordinho who doesn't start. So we're in... Probably a lot of trouble here against Bayer Leverkusen. And they are in already. And Daniel Violent trying to force the issue. The big Swede. It's Grimaldo it falls to. And Werner makes a relatively comfortable save to start things off. Kim Min Jae to Marrera. I thought Shalua tackled him. I thought Shalua tackled him as well. Frimpong powers his way through. Back to Marrera. Into Violent. And Hoyland. It is all Bayer Leverkusen. Rasmus's effort blocked well. 89 is his, well, I presume peak potential, Rasmus Hoyland, because he must have reached it by now, surely. Still, 89 is very, very good for Rasmus Hoyland. I didn't know he, his potential was actually genuinely that high in game. I know he had kind of a, not, re, not even really a breakout season at Atalanta. He wasn't sensational. He was just decent. But evidently, EA have given him a quite high, very high, Potential for career mode, and he has achieved that here at Bayer Leverkusen. And Marrera winding up for a shot. Give this out wide to Amaricho, and we'll try and counter if we can. But at the minute, well, all of my confidence of getting through in this quarterfinal to the semi finals of the Champions League has pretty much disappeared after seeing their 11. Dan Gore looking for me, trying to burst past the men into some space. Oh! 
just narrowly wide that was floating towards the top corner but wouldn't quite bend in enough what a goal that would have been to open the scoring in this quarter final tie keep it in our possession Gorka come back inside here Amarito I'm going to come short and Doyle he's got Gore there Gore found Gore's in Gore oh he might as well have just picked the ball up with his hands and given it to Mamadishvili it was such a tame shot it was like he passed it into his hands Brilliant position to go for a near post smasher, and he's absolutely fluffed it. We, after all the Leverkusen's pressure, we could have been 1-0 up there at the end of the first half. And Rasmus, the option is out wide, but it's not a great one at the moment. 1-2 with Grimaldo to then move it centrally again. Rodri, what a ball! Oh, I was waiting for the referee to give a pen there. It wouldn't, in my eyes, have been a penalty, but you have seen him given. Amaricho. Into me, it's not a great through ball. I'm going to have to turn away from one. But then there's a second man. It's Gavi, the man that was at Tottenham when we signed for them. And then the manager immediately bloody sold him in that same transfer window. And we haven't yet replaced any of the central midfielders that we lost. Even, was it Mikel Marino? Was he here at Spurs? I think Marino was here at Spurs, wasn't he? And then he got sold as well. Or was that, that might have been Real Sociedad actually, our previous club. I lose track. We've been in this save for so long. We've played for so many different clubs. But at the minute, we're concentrating solely on Spurs and hoping to get them a trophy for the first time in God knows how long. Was it 2008, the last time Tottenham won a trophy? Might be even longer than that. My brain is telling me it was 2008. I'm sure live chat will inform me or you guys in the comment section will let me know. But they haven't won anything in this save, I'm pretty sure, since we took over. Well, since we started, anyway. Amaricho into me. Oh, I was trying to take a touch and then get it back through that little gap. You saw what I was trying to do. I call for the through ball. It's a lovely ball to me. And from here, Mamadishvili makes the save. And we'll stay at nil-nil. Frimpong down the line. How is the kick? Well, from this elevation, you can't quite... You can't quite see it. But how's the keeper been chipped there for Rodri to then head home at the back post? That is really, really poor from Werner. Unless he's put so much height on this. Which, to be fair, he actually has. Oh, my God. What a ball. To pick out Rodri at the back post, he was always going to win the header. By a Leverkusen lead. Rodri... His first goal in eight games in the Champions League for Bayer Leverkusen as Doyle goes off and Jordinho comes on. We are behind. Champions League glory for Tottenham Hotspur this season. Might not be happening. Grimaldo spins well. Nice ball to Rodri. Tackled by Lenormand. Looking quickly for me, but it's just, quite frankly, the wrong ball to play. It's Frimpong now, and they're looking for a second. 1-0 is recoverable. 2-0, I fear, is not. So far, still just the one. Looks like it's going to be the one till the end of this first leg, though. Which isn't ideal, but we'll have to fancy our chances in the second leg. We have had some opportunities in this game to get ourselves the goal. To either equalise or take the lead. And that could have threaded me through for the equaliser if Ronald Araujo hadn't been equal to it. Excellent interception by the 91 rated centre back to ensure that the 88 rated me can't tuck that home. Bayer Leverkusen will win leg one here in the Champions League quarterfinals but will they go through? Liverpool next. Unfortunately in game number one against the L for Leverkusen it is an L. None of the objectives achieved dropped to the subs bench but the game against Liverpool comes in just three days' time, so we will be back in the starting lineup for our trip to Anfield before we then travel again to Leverkusen, away from home at the Bay Arena, into the 11 once more, starting at striker. Got an activity tournament match loss. I was waiting for that to be uh, a Beats sponsorship once more. Time for Liverpool. Smith Rowe back in the 11, but everyone else is super tired, including myself. 30% dribble success rate. We'll go for it. Not going to get the 55% team possession, are we? Not against uh, probably fully fit Liverpool with a fatigued Tottenham Hotspur. 
Locatelli to Bellingham. Esteve at the back for them. Norris at left back. You see uh, the purple hair of Millie on the left-hand side for them. They are one of the sides that we might well be moving to next season, Liverpool. They're going to be on the vote at the end of the season for sure. We'll wait and see if you guys vote for them or for us to stay at Tottenham for another year or maybe move to Inter Milan or insert other club that hasn't yet bid for us. We'll wait and see. Millie to Locatelli to Johnson. It's Emmett Johnson out to Zabayos. Lovely footwork. Cody Hakpo to Rico Lewis and Shilo in the way and scrambled clear. Here comes Zabayos. To be fair, Zabayos isn't fully fit. His stamina is about the same as mine. So perhaps Liverpool are also struggling with fatigue. I'm not sure if they're still in Europe in their season as well. Hakpo also is sim similar stamina to myself. So perhaps it's more of an even playing field than initially we thought it might be. Jude Bellingham has decent stamina. They've won it back here. Millie in possession now. Back to Norris. He's the weak link for them. Like 75 rated, I think, at left back. Everyone else is 86 plus in this Liverpool 11. Norris into the middle. Oh, Cody Hakpo was going for the overhead kick there. Locatelli with the volley deflected straight into the arms of Werner. <sighs> it's all Liverpool so far, but we're going to have to try and catch them on the counter, I guess. Otherwise, we'll be losing again. I'll try and spin Schlotterbeck here as he comes to me, which we've done beautifully, and we are in. Well and truly away here. The defender's coming across. Turn and beat him. And then the save. Doku! Onside and buried. Tottenham 1. Liverpool nil. I should have finished it myself. Doesn't matter. The ball's in the back of the net nonetheless. And we lead at Anfield. Lovely turn. But got to do better with the finish. Doku onside. And from a narrow angle, finishes well. Little back heel is poor. Schiller will get that to me. Locatelli tackles me though. Thought I was going to get to that first. Millie from the edge of the box. Well, that looked pretty central, but the keeper couldn't get there. And Jordan Millwood equalises for Liverpool here at Anfield. The ball, to me, I felt like I was in a position to be able to hold that up and keep hold of it, but evidently not. And keeper's positioning is awful, and the attempted save isn't great either. Liverpool were not behind for long. It's 1-1 now. Doku, to me. Well, I'll tell you what, we might be in again. We are, but Unai Simon makes the save. A second time he stopped me, and this time it doesn't fall free to a fellow Tottenham man to tuck home from the rebound. And on the counter-attack, Cody Hakpo could set Liverpool up for a second of their own. A goal scorer coming forward here, Millie. He's got Norris on the overlap. Into Millwood again. Hobson's in the middle. Still there, Norris. Good block by Gore. It's out for a corner. Entertaining game, this one, with chances at either end. I haven't been able to take either of mine, though, but at least I'm getting my shots on target tally up for the season. That one, though, wasn't from Nico Schlotterbeck. Challenge Jude Bellingham. Wow, what a stop. Dan Gore and Doku. Gore again. I'm here. Pissouma's there with me. Play the simple one. Doku out wide, keeps it in play. It has come to me, has it? Looking for the ball through. Tommy Doyle winds up for the shot. It's blocked well by a defender. My only option, really, Tommy. That I had another man on my right shoulder, but I was never going to be able to turn and get it to him without getting tackled. Now Zabios could play through Rico Lewis. Thankfully, it was blocked because there was plenty of space for Rico to get, Rico to get into there. Just as there's plenty of space for me to get into here. And we've got around the outside of Nico Sotterbeck and we're in behind. And that is Tottenham Hotspur leading once more. I'm going to run around. I'm going to go and celebrate with those travelling Tottenham fans if I can. Oh, I might have missed a couple of efforts and they've been saved by Unai Simon. But it's not stopping that one. We have ourselves a goal. We have ourselves the lead once more. Nico Schlossbeck's no slouch, and I'm not exactly rapid, but I've got just enough about me there to get the job done. 20 goals in 32 games for me, it says. Now top left. I don't know where I am in the Premier League top goal scorer charts. I don't envisage 20 goals being enough to see me be top. 20 goals in 32 games is a very good haul, but it's probably not golden boot worthy, I wouldn't have thought. Doku sweeps that onto me. Try and beat the defender, which I've done well. And we might be in again here. We've gotten away from Esteve. He's got to go. 
He's got to go. That is cynical to the highest degree. How have you only given him a yellow there? Maxime Esteve, I am away and he's just wiped me out. How is that not a red card? That's disgusting from him. Unbelievable, Jeff. Well, from the free kick, I will try my best to add another. Oh, outside of the post. We very nearly did add another. Unbelievable effort that was just inches away from my second, the team's third, and surely all three points guaranteed. Cody Hakpo off, Evan Nielsen on for them. Now Norris off and... and oh, no. Uh, Ramsey coming on for them at left back. It was Robertson for a minute. I could have sworn that was number 26. It was number 28. That's why it caught me out. Well, we still lead by two goals to one, but oh my lord, it was nearly three. Doku. Go quickly to me. Give it to Doku. Call for it again. I'm in again. I've beaten Esteve. Oh, and there comes Ramsey. He's giving it straight back to me. Oh! Missed the target, the chance gifted to me, and I've not been able to take it. I thought it was destined for the bottom left hand corner. It was not. Zabayas off for Zalewski for them, as Jordinho comes on for Doyle for us. Two opportunities to seal it at 3 1 since we scored to make it two. The woodwork hit and half an inch wide. If we don't win this game, it's my fault for not taking my chances. Bring it, bring it, Emil. Just bring it. Just travel, 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 travel. Jordinho, look at the run. Steve Basuma. To me. Patton! I have been able to score again. Tottenham, 3 1 up now at Anfield. I'll be honest, heart was in my mouth there because I expected Unai Simon to probably make the save and deny me again. He hasn't. We are three goals to one up now at Anfield. Get in, boys. 21 goals in 32 Premier League games now. We're, so we're certainly going to be up near the top of the Premier League golden boot chart. I don't know at this stage, because this is our first game, first, sorry, season at, in the Premier League, I would say at Premier League level, but we've been at, been at top flight level for a little while. This is our first game, first season, sorry, in the Premier League. So I don't know really how many other top strikers are here in the division and who might be my rivals for the Golden Boot. Bellingham's header there, well saved by Werner. I'm going to bust a gut into space here. And if I can bring this down, please go in. Ladies and gentlemen, a Premier League hat-trick at Anfield. Goalkeeper came up for the corner, didn't go anywhere near him. On my left foot from the halfway line, we've bagged a hat-trick. Werner played it to me, under control, just needed to get it on target. To be fair, it wasn't the halfway line, but it's certainly the longest distance goal I've scored of my career. Tottenham 4, Liverpool 1, and I've bagged a trio. Get in! It was the last kick of the game. Unbelievable. 55, 85, 90. A match ball for me. I now only need one more hat-trick to be able to guarantee a, a Tottenham Hotspur contract for next season. 42% is a new one, I think, for... Uh, conversion percentage. We've not done that before. I think I'm going to get man the match, don't you? A 10 out of 10 with 95 minutes played. A win. A big win. A giant win. Back to winning ways. Now, if we could have done that against Leverkusen, or if we can do that against Leverkusen next, I will be absolutely thrilled. Only my third hat-trick of my career in my 335th game. My first Premier League hat-trick. Yes. Current contract, one of two hat-tricks achieved. I need one more shot on target. Still only five clubs interested in me. No sign of a sixth club yet. Wants me to invest in renewable energy. I did that before, and I got no extra money back from it. High match performance. I'll pat myself on the back for that. I think I deserve it, really. Go on then, why not? I've got nothing else to spend my money on. I can't afford... What is the other one? Is it the yacht? 
Oh no, it's the private jet. We've bought the yacht. I need 17 million for a private jet and I can't afford that yet. We've got, we had at least 11 million in the bank. Leverkusen away then. We did it at Anfield. We avoided the L. Can we avoid the L against Leverkusen as well? Mm, the team just gets more and more fatigued, but we pray something goes our way. Two shots on target. Avoid losing the game. We tried that last time and it didn't work. At the Bay Arena. It's win or out in the Champions League quarterfinals. Nathan Teller starting for Leverkusen this time around. Back to Kim Min Jae in the 11 for them again. Ronald Araujo alongside him continually. Here's Gavi in the midfield still. I think Teller might be the only change to the 11 from the first leg, to be honest. Rasmus Hoyland racing around here and might go for goal. It'd be a hell of a solo run. It is a hell of a solo run. It just didn't end with the goal that he hoped that it would do on the end of it. A 1-0 scoreline is overturnable. We've just scored four at Anfield. If we can do that, we can do anything through that gap. Go on, Tommy. Doyle back to Amarito. To me, looking for my teammate. Gore. Oh, it's well blocked. It's going to go wide. Chance from the corner then, maybe. 14th minute. Not quite textbook in the build-up to the chance. Volimers! Good save by Mamadish Vili. Wow. Top stop at the near post. I'm going to rush towards the near post myself here and try and get on the end of something. And it's here. Oh, my guy went for an overhead kick that was... Never going to work. Gore, Vanderson, Amaricho, to me. Winding up! Oh, it was on target. Headed to that bottom corner. Wouldn't go in. Maybe from this set piece. Towards the near post again. I'm up. The header's wide. Hacked away, though. They don't settle for the goal kick. They want to try and do it from open play. But actually, they've lost possession. And now they've won it back again. 20 minutes in. It's still 0-0 on the night. It's still 1-0 Leverkusen on aggregate. Just evades the foot of the defender. Rodri can rocket them from range. Oh, my God, Nathan Teller. That's the worst thing you've done in your career. Jesus. Brilliant ball. And how he's put that. That far wide, I will never be able to tell you. No, why have I fallen over? Jordinho, Jordinho. Solomon. Oh, I can't believe. I cannot believe. That's got to be one. That's got to be one nil on the night and one one on aggregate. How, I called for it and he didn't wear to me. He played it to Dan Gore instead. Oh, if you've got the option of me or Dan Gore. Who do you think's going to get you a goal, mate? Unreal. That's... We're not going to. The way that that chance went has me convinced now that we are destined to lose this tie. Doyle. I don't want to get subbed off because if we are somehow able to find an equaliser as a team, but it's not me to score it, then I'll miss out on extra time and potential penalties. Nathan Teller down the wing here. Tucked back, given away. Vanderson will eventually clear. I'm on a 6.1. I'm still at risk of being subbed out. Werner runs across the goal mouth with it, which is absolutely terrifying. We've won it back. I can't afford the ball to go out of play until we've scored a goal as a team. I'm going to reach out, and hopefully I'm the one to, be, to score it. And I might be, you know. I really could be. I'm in really with a brilliant save. I nearly was. Can't believe he saved that. Bissouma off. And Brahim Diaz, I think that is coming on in his place. We've gone ultra attacking now to try and force the issue. And it really is an issue that needs forcing. But Mamadishvili does not want to concede a goal in these Champions League quarterfinals at all. Colin Murray, the Patreon player, is on now for Nathan Teller on the wing for them too. So they've brought on another 90 plus player to come and impact the game. Gavi is in behind. I've been switched to left striker. And Vernet needed to make that save. If he didn't, we were done for. He did. We still live. Alex O'Sullivan now off the bench for Leverkusen as well. That's flicked away. I've got a strike partner. Who that strike partner is, I'm not sure. Daniel Violin in behind and misses the target. Please tell me I'm still on the pitch. I am indeed. Who's up top with me then? It's me and Brahim Diaz as a strike partnership with... Uh, Van Axel Dongan on the left and Solomon on the right. Jordinho and Doyle in the middle. 
we have 11 minutes to save our Champions League season with a 4-2-4. Two minutes added on. My guy's dead on his feet. The whole squad's dead on their feet, trying to force the issue. He's won that back there, and he's played me in, but Jeremy Frimpong's just too quick. I can't get away from him. No! Oh, at least let's try and do that attack. Finally, we've had the chances. Mamadishvili's made the saves, crucially. And Bayer Leverkusen knocked Tottenham Hotspur out of the Champions League. It's quarterfinals only in Europe's elite competition. And tomorrow, we try and get ourselves from Wembley back to Wembley by winning in the FA Cup semi-final. A hat-trick at Anfield is the takeaway from today. We avoid defeat away from home, but the 1-0 loss at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is enough to sink us in Europe. Bugger. We are out. AC Milan look like they're going through with a strong 3-1 first leg league against first leg lead against PSG. Real Madrid are through against my former side, Real Sociedad. And Juventus are 2-1 down from the new Camp against Barcelona. Some giant teams still involved in that competition. I need one more hat-trick. One more hat-trick in the remainder of the season and I'll have done everything and not even had to force it. Tournament match lost. We'll recover from the disappointment. We'll go again in the FA Cup in tomorrow's episode. Take time with the boss though. Out of the Champions League. Very much out of the Premier League as well. Sus versus Sheffield United. It's Arsenal versus Millwall. You know who the favourites are, but will it go that way? We don't yet know. We are four points, and actually with a game in hand, behind Newcastle. Although three points by Liverpool, having played the same amount. But that win at Anfield has 100% kept the uh, top four fight alive for Tottenham Hotspur this season. In terms of... Actually, you no. Know, I want to see... Uh, player stats in terms of top goal scorers in the Premier League I'm second only to Erling Haaland level with Rashford and Colin Moani so I am having a very good season in the Champions League uh, Cambridge's Saiku Jana there with four goals in four in the FA Cup go on lad in the Champions League I have six in ten and I won't be scoring any more Nathan Grasso up there with 11 in 10 for Real Madrid wow what a season he's had join me tomorrow then for what will be an FA Cup semi-final and then the push on towards hopefully a top four spot for Tottenham next year. We will not get Champions League football by winning the Champions League because we're out. So we will have to finish in the top four. Sheffield United, Everton, Leicester. It's tomorrow's episode as it stands. Join me for it. I'll see you then.